In 1955, Bill Russell's winning legacy began by winning the national championship at San Francisco. In the Final Four, he had to beat former Colorado Buffalo Bertie Halderson before winning it all. Russell blocks his shot. The CU great remembers the Russell hype. We weren't shooting playing normal because we were concerned about getting the block shot. Halderson would go on to become Russell's teammate at the 1956 Olympics in Australia. Russell helped deliver the U.S. a gold medal, but his journey wasn't easy. A simple stay at a hotel wasn't so simple. And when they went to get on the elevator to go up to the room and they wouldn't let him on the elevator. He had a routine, a Duncan routine that he'd go through and warm up to entertain the crowd, but he didn't do it. It means a lot to me. I'm proud to have been on the, on the team with him. Former Nuggets head coach George Carl saw firsthand how much the players in today's game laughed <laughs> and bonded with Russell. Well, what's funny is I, I don't know how that happened. I don't think today's players are very good historians of the game, and, but there was a respect for Bill Russell. Oh, the great Bill Russell. <laughs> and he is also very, very aware of his power and influence. Carl was coaching the Supersonics while Russell was living in Seattle. The two never sat down for an in-depth conversation, but Carl didn't need one to understand who Russell was and what he meant to the league. I think he's the first pillar of greatness in the NBA. Two words in my life I grew up on for my family was respect and responsibility. He's at the top of the list in both. Jacob Toby, Nine News.